皮破皮破皮破皮破，开帕萨萨帕西，我得读。Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. First thing that is popping in the news, there's a video that is making its round on social media. Video on your screen, edited version. In this video, you can clearly see there's a man, big and thick, maybe about 200 and something, 300 pound. Then there's a lady, maybe about 70, 80, 50, 40 pound. Me no know her weight, cause she kind of looks scrawny. However, in this video, it is seen that this lady is saying something to this man and he, she is stretching out her arm, gesticulating that she is begging. However, she was persistent. She was like a pest, a pestilence. Then we see the man wheel and pop off, not shown in the video. And then he points his lights of fire piece at this young lady's head. Then she back up. He goes about his business. He walk past her. And him going in his car. And he drives off. Somebody was obviously videotaping the whole episode. And the person that was videotaping the episode. Made his feelings be known that he is going to take this video. To the poor poor he is going to report this man. And he did. And the video has been making its round on social media. The man that was seen drawing his tool at the lady, he was getting, still getting a bashing on social media. Now people, sometimes you don't have to know the rules and laws. Something is wrong, it just looks wrong to the average decent person. Now, I say this to say that you hear all sorts of people coming out and um, defending this man, say what he did is right. So I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to an edited version of a video that I saw that pretty much describes the regular person, what they think, the person that are in defense of this man. And then I am going to give my piece. And I don't want nobody to come and tell me, say, oh, she never have nothing in her hand. Um, her hand was empty. Look at her size. She's small. Nonsense. A threat is what you perceive and what you are able to justify. And a person not having anything in their hand or smaller than you does it make them less of a threat if they decide to be a threat. So don't use ignorance to speak. Don't. It's absolutely ludicrous. You can't look at a person's size, gender, or the fact that their hands are empty and decide if they are advancing and violating your personal space that you are not a threat to you because they don't know what is concealed or what is hidden much less their intentions so the best thing to do is to take the appropriate actions to dis have the person discontinue the advance and there is absolutely no law in any established country legal system framework whatever you want to call it that says you must wait until somebody hurts you or harm you to take actions to protect yourself now people my disclaimer don't know who this person was don't usually take video from other persons that are on youtube don't know if he's on youtube or which social media thing him there however i use this because that is the general consensus of persons defending this man. Now, people, most importantly is what the people that are issuing the license had to say as it pertains to that. And I am reading from an article in the Gleaner, Jamaica Gleaner. It reads, The man seen in a social media video pointing his license firearm at a woman in New Kingston has had his permit suspended. The Firearms Licensing Authority, FLA, has come confirmed the weapon was surrendered to the FLA yesterday. The agency confirms that the man's identity is not public. It is not disclosed. Now, people, like me tell you, there are always two to three sides to this story. 
the man whose license fire piece permit was suspended, Yannick, which was a lady that was in the video. And then there is the truth. Here is how the process works. The person that videotaped this thing, he obviously went to the FLA, he was interviewed, he went to the Paul Paul, he made a report. It was on social media, so it is not as if the FLA wouldn't get wind of it either way. It was buzzing all over social media. Here is the thing as a life of fire piece holder. Whenever you are seen in any sorts of video that is deemed controversial by the FLA, this is how the process works. You get an opportunity to go to their office. You get an opportunity to have an interview, preliminary interview. And then based on what you tell them, they will make a determination if the investigation is going to continue with you having that lies of fire piece or with them suspending or holding that firearm until the investigation is concluded. This is mostly based on the questions that they ask you and the answers that you give. If the answers that you give don't make any sorts of sense, then more than likely you have to hand over that fire piece and that permit immediately. Now people, this man, the same man, has been on a couple of interviews on TV, on radio. It is said that based on information that I got, that him claims say, the lady threatened his life. The lady said that she was going to harm him if he did not give her any sorts of money. Now people, Here's the thing. Yannick is a lady that I know. I am not going to say personally. But I am familiar with Yannick. From back in about 2000 and before that. I did a video before and I told you. Yannick is a hot girl. Yannick was in high demand. All of the smuggler them. All of the hype man them. All of the dance hall artists them. Was hanging with Yannick. When she used to be hot. It is said that Yanni catch AIDS and it pretty much lick her chip. So that is when she resorted to using cocoa. Sometimes people use cocoa, sometimes people use DRUGS and it makes them aggressive. Here are the facts. There are countless videos on social media with Yannick. In none of those videos, Yannick never displays any form of hostility, aggression, as if she wants to hurt somebody. Yes, she is like a pestilence. Yes, she is persistent with the begging and it might be perceived as aggressive. However, in no time or shape you are going to feel as if she is trying to hurt you. She just don't listen. She pretty much want that money so she can do the do. She can get that H-I-G-H whenever she ready for her fix. I have never seen a video with her displaying any form of aggression. Maybe yes, persistent. Yes, it could be perceived as that. But as a normal thinking person, you are going to think this. So dear four people, like me tell you, the video they out. The court of public opinion has pretty much said, Boy, this man gone overboard. The FLA determined after a first interview that yes, we need to suspend this license. And people, like me tell you, there's always three sides to the story. The license fire piece once was holder, Yannick and the truth. The lies of fire peace holder has an ulterior motive. He wants to maintain that lies of fire peace. So therefore he has a motive. His incentive is to keep it. So therefore he would lie. Am I saying that this person is a bad person? No, I am not saying that this person is a bad person. 
However, evil good people make bad judgment and that was a bad judgment that he made that day without a shadow of a doubt. So therefore now, he is doing damage control. By him doing damage control, he is going to the media. Him go to FLA already and claim said the lady threatened him. That is why he pulled his toll. Now, we know that Yannick is not going to go to FLA. Yannick is not going to go to the Paw Paw. Yannick is not going to be there in defense of her name, which is pretty much shoddy right now. So therefore, it is going to be his word against her word. However, there are all sorts of things people are calling me. I said people, I said this, people, I said that. Yannick have offensive thing in her hand. And she doesn't harm him. She doesn't fling this upon him. She doesn't fling that upon him. People, based on persons that was there, based on what the person that actually recorded, she had nothing in her hand except a bag with some sort of cookie or cracker, some sort of food item. Now, people, are you going to hurt somebody with a bag with crackers or chips or biscuit? How is that even possible? And the next thing, this man claims that his life, he felt as if his life was in danger and people, yes, if you felt as if your life in danger, you can defend yourself. Nothing no wrong with that. However, when you claim that your life is in danger, we would expect that you are going to take measures until that danger is gone. So people, what I am going to do, I am going to show you the video after him wheel and pop off. Now remember, when him wheel and pop off the toll, he was facing her at a distance, out of arm's length. So therefore, if him feel like him life in a danger and him wheel and pop off, him not still face her while him go away from her. No people, he went even closer to her and then he had his back turned to her. So therefore, I guess if he, sh he showed her the toll, the danger gone. She no longer wants to hurt him because he gave her more opportunity for hurt him when he turned him back to her. When, she, when he walked close to her, even at a closer distance with him back turned, what kind of danger can you be in if you are a poor, poor, a soldier, a man with sense? If you feel like your life is a danger, you are going to be watching this person like a hawk with your eyes facing that person. Him walk away and him pretty much not looking behind him. She was even closer to him. She was still pacing behind him. However, he never pop off him gun then. Now people, what this shows me, this shows me that you have a group of men out there them need to go to some sort of Dr. Miami. Them need to do some nip and tuck. Them need to cut off them B-A-L-L-S. Because some of you men that are out there defending this man, this man should not be labeled as a man. You should be labeled as courage. The cowardly D-O-G. Because that is exactly what you are. So now, it is even bad. That you have people out there a fling this lady under the bus as if the lady not really hit any sorts of hard time already. And why is this? People in a Jamaica, them take up for the person that have the most money. Them take up for the person that is in a better position. So therefore, what that makes you? That makes you C-L-A-S-S-I-S-T. -S -S that makes you prejudice. That makes you an unfair human being. So people, like me say, if your life is in danger and you have your life in fire peace, by all means, defend yourself. Defend yourself with the tool that you was given the permit to carry. However, people, in this case, as a reasonable person, I can say that that is not the case. This man, either because of bad judgment, or either because of hype, or either because he felt as if he was above the law, 
he was entitled. Him have that uptown privilege in wheel and pop off upon this homeless lady. Me not go even say she MAD because me know her situation. So therefore, just own up, be a man and say, listen, me make a mistake. But he does not want to lose her. So therefore, he would rather throw this lady under the bus. We are already under the bus, immature under the train. So therefore, how is it that some big man out there, just like him, I go side with him and claim say him say. Yannick now have no reason for lie. Yannick is what she is. She is on some sorts of D-R-U-G-S. She's been on it because she hit rock bottom. She gets A-I-D-S and she start turning to that. Not saying that it is justified. Not saying that she did not put herself in a situation. However, if she did nothing wrong, which she's a very aggressive beggar, May I go say that? May I go give the man credit and say yes? She could have been an annoyance. She could have been a pestilence. She could have been a thorn in his side. However, for you, for wheel and papa of pan she. Now, people, here's the thing. All of those people that work in a new Kingston, whether Scotia, whether NCB, whether the bike of them, any and everybody, 99% of the people, that work are familiar with New Kingston know this lady. Them know say she not hurt a fly. And like I said before, there is no videos. There are countless hundreds of videos on social media and none of them with she threatening anybody. So how is it that people actually got to talk about the lady threatening, the lady they on this, a threatening to do this and do that to lead the people? People, some are only too wicked and some are only stop listen some little fool fool don't said wicked people upon social media because all they want to do is paint a narrative that is wrong against people. So therefore, use your common sense. When you watch the video, it tells you that it is wrong. And whether it is the rule or the law or whatever, everything that is rule and law don't make it right. Back in the 50s, back in the 60s, you and I as B-L-A-C-K, we couldn't go in a certain bathroom in America. That was the rule, that was the law. Does it make it right? Or does it make it wrong? Or does it make it because it is a rule? It is right. People, wrong is wrong and right is right. Whenever you see the two of them, you know the difference instantaneously. It does not take any sort of experts. So therefore, if the general consensus past social media is that this man pass in place. If 90% of the people them are say it look wrong. Him wicked. Him shouldn't do that. So if 90% of the people must say him wrong. No majority rule. No common sense rule. See, I tell me, say, 90% of the people them foolish. And the other 10 have sense. Are the 10% just bias. The 10% just misinformed. The 10% have a motive. The 10% need to check them head. Isn't that what is going on right here? Isn't it clear? It is not as if it is grey. It's black and white. The man wrong. The man make a bad decision and he is trying to cover up for it. He is doing damage control. And he gets the aid of other persons that think just like him. For back him up. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point. Please to show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, word to the wise. Whenever you are rising in life, there's always going to be a set of vipers. They see your potential. They realize that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. However, when they look at themselves, they see that their ceiling is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell because of their insecurity and mostly because of their hate. They realize that people only appreciate them if they pretend to be something that they are not. So therefore, for them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do whatever it takes to make you seem as if you are down. Point blank and period.